This video is sponsored by the design mechanism, the makers of Mithras. Mithras is a registered trademark of the Design Mechanism Inc. used with permission, all rights reserved. Right, um, let's make sure, can somebody speak? Thank you. That, that's it. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Um, so I have been away all day. You've had no streams from me all day today, which is normally the session, the day that I do nine hours of it. But I've been at work um, earning the big bucks I have been. But yes, we are here um, tonight to play some Mithras, which is a fantasy role playing game. Um, uh, Mr. Pickles is with us, but his internet is dodgy. So we've recruited Muscle Pickles in for the day. Um, so he's not sitting um, very still or anything like that, um, but he is with us. And the party have found themselves in a very strange location as you can probably see from the, um, <laughs> somebody just put in chat, Flexibe is back <laughs> rather than Bartleby. <laughs> Flexibe is back. Uh, and then there's that weird, is it a snake emoji? That sort of like has its mouth open. I'm, I'm not too sure. Yeah, it looks like a lizard. Pog champ. Um, I'm not too sure what, what that means, but that's at the end. So the party have found themselves in at the bottom of a very long pit, a deep pit. And they landed on something that is quite scary, quite, quite scary. Um, but before I tell you more about what's happened, I'm going to hand over to the players to let them say who they are and who they will be playing tonight. And as always, we start with Mr. Bartleby. I am Mr. Pickles, and I play Mr. Barleby or Flexibly or <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Bufferby. <laughs> I like that. Oh, I like whenever that. Whenever I succeed at a brawn check, I have to say something. Cause uh, yeah. Barleby's not very tough, but he is strong in his faith in his goddess Amriel, who gives him lots of powers, like the ability to just dismiss magic from even happening as a reactive action, too, I believe. Mm. Uh, yeah. He can bring defenses down that make it so attacks can't even hit anybody or, or even do damage to himself. He can pacify people. He can calm people down. He can heal, put limbs sort of back together, not to the point of taking an arm that's been lopped off and then just putting that back on. But I'm getting close to that. Close. Barleby also has a lot of skills regarding knowledge of the area that we often are in, as well as history, monsters, poisons. He's the speaker of the group, but he's not very good in combat. Um, he's been training a lot recently to try and use a quarter staff more defensively so that he doesn't just put up prayer hands and hope that enemies don't stick him with a, with a stick. And that is Barleby. He, he tries to be helpful to people. He has two minions named Sam and Decker, because I wrote down their names this time. Yep. But they're not here. They're off getting drunk. And I'm going to pass <laughs> the mic on to Captain Kangaroo. Hey, everyone. I'm Captain Kangaroo. Uh, tonight, I'm playing Cyrus Alias. He uh, He's actually a guy who uses a big lawn shaft to actually get things done. <laughs> um, uh, he... He's able to kick butt with his big lave, um, and he's uh, known to be a dancer of battles. Uh, mm. But that's 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 just the like little little tip of it, because honestly, he's a master of mystical arts. He can kick ass with his mind. He's able so to absorb done. powers and just explode them across on all of the uh, enemies out there. Um, we'll find out today uh, if uh, he, he has any more uh, tricks under his lawn sleeves, um, but. I don't know. I think uh, I don't know. we'll see what happens. Um, You've built him up so much. I hate to tell you. I know. I know. <laughs> so... I know. But from there, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass the mic to Medivac to give us a heads up of what he's playing. Why? Thank you. I'm Medivac, and I play Hazra Khan tonight. He is a nomad, a tracker, a scout. Um, he's the group's combat person i suppose now um but he's also fantastic in the wilderness um he's a little bit shocked of where he is now because last moment he he, he remembers he was in, in in a ship and now he's in a cave so that's throwing him off a little bit underground <laughs> <Going> underground <laughs> um, and 
but once he regains his faculties, he will realise it's in his element. So that's it. Um, he's also um, a selfish, perfect, selfish protector. So he yes. will end up chucking himself in front of a weapon that's going to one of his comrades at some point. Um, he did have a distrust of magic, but now he's becoming more immune to it, aware of it. He's yeah. welcoming it in a sense. Um, he's part of the Brotherhood, which um, looks after the balance in the world. They record everything that's happening in every single area of yep. the world. And they've been doing that for, for well, as, as long as writing started. Very yeah. true. Yeah. Um, yeah. He used to, well, he still is a friend of Basil in the Hairy Hobgoblin yep. in Lindo, but uh, they were away from Lindo now. So he's having to make new friends and new inns to supply <laughs> meats to eat. Um, yeah. Um, some crazy stuff's going down. So with that, I shall pass on to Max. So later. Uh, I'm Max. I play Rohan, a, a sort of rogue from the streets of Lindo. And this he's new to the party and has sort of proven himself, but has been having some rather unfortunate circumstances thrust upon him with uh, saving True. the world, uh, getting absolutely unlucky and setting, setting off a trap, leading the party straight into this hellish pit. Was there a trap? I thought that was me. Uh, yeah, it... The, the the chest that we opened. No, it, it was it was me. It was. Was it? Oh yeah, we decided yeah. to make you do it. It, it, was, <laughs> yeah. it was like because you guys were arguing, and then I was like, oh, let's just do it. And, stuff. and and now we're here. And I'm glad you're willing to sacrifice. Yes. Straight in the pit. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. I will blame idea. you for this though. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till you see what's going to happen before your portion blame. Uh, Are you done, Max? Yeah. 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 Okay then. Um, before we start, <laughs> sorry. Before we start today's session, can you check on your character sheets underneath um, magic points? You should have uh, a skill that is showing that is called tenacity. I think mm -hmm. I've been through everyone. Um, Bartleby, your tenacity was there, but it looked like it was zero out of how many. So I think I've um, um, put it back up to what it should be. Yes, I had a long time ago, I had a fight with a ghost. So yeah, video. yeah. So just to let you know that um, there'll be some interesting progression in tonight's adventure with that tenacity role. Um, if you want to think of it a bit like your sanity um, from Call of Cthulhu, so if you've played that, I know Medivac does, so that's almost like um, your power of, it, it's a measure of your um, will, a measure of what you can um, sustain or um, actually manage to not be put off um, evil, nasty things. And Let's I've, go wibble, wibble. Yes, so very. Oh. <laughs> yes. I think I think Mr. Pickles actually had a uh, Call of Cthulhu character that actually went insane. Yeah, he got possessed by a mummy. It's no big deal. <laughs> yeah. wibble, wibble. He has mummy problems. <laughs> he said, I, I have possession problems. Uh, yeah. Um, so the party have elected or decided to rid the world of a, an evil um, queen, an evil goddess um, that called Shahelia. And uh, the Shahelia is trying to get back into the world. She has, she was imprisoned by the elder gods. And now she's trying to, she's got, managed to break free of the prison and has sent a will across into the uh, the world of Odess and has started to raise acolytes that Rohan and Bartleby um, had a battle against one trying to save 
um, a poor, unfortunate child um, from being abducted. They have managed to gain some information about how to deal with Shahelia. They have, I think it's Hazra that has the dagger um, that has a hilt um, encrusted with shells that they got from a soothsayer called Matilda. And they then came back. They defeated an evil dark stalker that seemed to be conjured from blood and actually had been sent out to um, deal with the party or to follow them. They managed to attract its attention and dispatch it quite easily. They then went to an island to f um, look at, uh, to find a map in a coffer. They killed a giant crab called Death Pincer, and they went on after being almost betrayed, well, yes, betrayed by... Um, a ship owner called Molly Square Sail. And they went into the sunken wreck and found a, a coffer. And when the coffer was opened, they suddenly were plunged downward into a deep um, pit. They landed in a s various um, states of disarray. And I think I told you last time what you had landed on. Was that correct? Spikes. Yeah. Um, so you're, you're actually, there's spikes here that some of you might have caught and taken a little bit of damage. But um, the, the interesting thing is, is that um, as you um, adjust to the darkness, um, or the minimum amount of light that is shining down, you suddenly find that you're um, on a pile of skulls and skeletons. The whole floor seems to be covered in them. They um, seem to be quite old, and various of, of them are impaled uh, on the spikes that you generally manage to miss. Um, when you look upwards um, to see, w you know, where you have come from, um, you actually notice that there's a, a huge um, cavernous um, ceiling. You can't actually see where it ends. And the sides of the cavern are dark, there's um looks like it's being crafted from rock it doesn't look smooth or anything like that um a quick look around seems that there's no light um coming down from above there is um something else however there does seem to be an exit um that you can see straight ahead of you and the other thing that you can um, see is that there is um, a, a dim amount of light, okay? And it actually seems to be from a couple of torches that are held in brackets um, on the wall. Um, they give out a very faint glow. Um, you suddenly check your backpacks your um pouches etc to see um what you have and you suddenly realize that you only have the items that you went set out to kill death pincer uh, and that's all um apart from that you have um i think some of you have suffered a slight bit of injury if i remember rightly I think it was just um, Rohan. Yeah. Well, I've got a point of my leg missing. Oh, yeah, you must. Uh, that might have been from the crab. Mm. Yeah, rather yeah, from. I got through, yeah. Yeah, rather um, from the um, fall. And yeah. so. Um, I was yeah. going to say, I, I don't have the dagger. Oh, right. Who has the dagger? Um, was it. I thought it was Rohan. Yeah. Is it Rohan? The chosen one. <laughs> that we chose him to have the burden i i mean amriel tells me what his introduction is like it sounds like he's the chosen one who is trying to 
relinquish his duties to save the world. He's just yeah. from the streets. This is just this is just a some bad luck. <laughs> yeah, so may may set of circumstances. Yeah, you are the chosen one. What does anybody remember that film, The Golden Child? Yeah, it's Eddie Murphy. Yeah, classic. I love that. I'm watching that um film by the way, um, Medivac. You're still watching it? Well, I watch it in sections, if that right. makes sense, because then I go off and do something. You know, I can't believe I discovered it on Prime, on Prime and it's, I've got the video, literally a VHS yeah. of that film. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's really, when you look at it now, it's quite... Oh, it's dating. Yeah. And he's just fired his, um, his sword blades out, and I swear you could see the string. The string oh, somebody yeah. quickly yeah. pulling it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so um, can you um, make for me, please, can everybody just make um, a, a very easy um, willpower check for me? I have no willpower. How did you fail? <laughs> very easy willpower. <laughs> Do you wish to luck it or not? No, nah, we're not going to luck this one. We can reverse it. Yeah. Uh, what, what, oh, what, nah, we're good. Okay. It's all right. Um, so the um, just from wibble, this, wibble. yeah, just because of the general situation, this is not what um, Rohan is used to. You know, he's been brought up in Lindo. He's not used to this, and there's quite a lot of dead bodies here and you feel your um, tenacity points drop by one. So it's, I know, I know what everybody's tenacity points are. So. Don't, don't worry, everybody. It's going to be a, a long night of me rolling poorly. <laughs> and then really around going, goo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Calm down, bro. Yeah, so... Stop freaking out. I'm a chair. <laughs> so yeah, so you you all um, you all sat here. And you can you manage to get up and you know organize yourself, dust the bone dust off your um, armor and anything. And yeah, I'll pass it over to you guys. Well, once Hazra lands, he'll be in his combat stance, and the, you'll see uh, the, the shock on his face of, of the from where he was and now where he is yeah. and he's trying to calculate that in his mind of what just happened and then he he, he kind of thinks back to um when gulliver used to send them through those watery oh portals. yes through the portals yeah and it sort of clicks into place um in a sense and and he, he'll i'm going to turn to to cyrus and to bartleby and say I think we've we've come through one of those watery portal things, those doors into another place. Uh, probably. <laughs> um, <laughs> Cyrus is <laughs> Cyrus is going to uh, light up his glaive uh, so he gets some light in here. Yeah, let's roll your um, folk magic. Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah um it it lights up so you it casts um some uh, more light around the actual cavernous room um however there's something that you notice um Cyrus um straight away as soon as you cast it it doesn't seem to be as bright as what it normally should be it seems to it's giving off light but it, it's as if something is um, dampening it. Something is causing it to lose um, some of its um, brilliance. It's usually much more significant than this. I, I, I promise. It's not. I'm, I never liked this. Right. <laughs> well, I certainly think we've d deduced where uh, everybody went when they um, came in here and didn't come back. Um, and no, I thought that, that it was only one person, wasn't it? Well, there were many stories. There's many, many stories. Yeah. You, weren't, yeah. you weren't there when I was oh. asking stories. You got bored. 
That's true. Molly, Molly, Molly Square Cell has a lot to answer for. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get her. It's like only one thing she has to answer for. And it's like, why are you betraying us for this harpy queen? But, no, but she, she has, she has the, said the, many people. Life. The question is, why does she still have her head? Yeah. She has said many people to the deaths here. That's true. And we should probably be thinking <laughs> to handle this situation rather than getting revenge. Does anybody have rope? Um, no. Oh, they we, can fly. We, these, these acolytes of the Harpy Queen can fly. So this might be the only way in and out. Didn't we? We brought rope and netting and things, didn't we? And that was left, and the netting oh. was left underneath the. Um, oh, they did the there, yeah. there is. Yeah. Um, there does appear to be uh, an exit from your. Um, room. Uh, I, 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 I have a drop in hook, feed for seven days, torches, spear, um, key for Lucius's villa. <laughs> <laughs> That's useful. <laughs> we, I, I just, I think we. There's a possibility we could just be going deeper if we go through that that way and uh not necessarily having a guaranteed exit so i feel or, like just in case or things go sour we go a few steps that way we find some stairs i mean that's entirely possible but i'm just saying in case we need to regroup or things go sour we should know a plan rather than just run to this room and die true um but what, what is above us can we can we see higher is is there a portal still is it still open or is it just darkness up there? Um I, I just sorry, what, Oh yeah, nice one. What do you um, wish to cast? I would like to get some vision. Mm. Um yeah, nice. My folk magic roll. Hmm. Yeah, nice. Um mark off the point. Um yeah, yeah as you can probably imagine this whole area seems to hum with background magic. Um, you do notice that when you look up, the um, magic, the, the hum, the glow of magic seems to um, come together and, and then ends in what appears to be a, a disc-like um, oval um, high up. Um, you, you're your magic gl the glow of your magic is allowing you to see higher than you actually can um but it's definitely you're definitely surrounded well definitely over the top with a huge amount of magic round at the bottom um there's a gentle background hum um but nothing uh, nothing noticeable apart from that there's no specific skeleton or parts of the wall or anything like that that's letting off um, magic the whole area but it does seem more concentrated high above uh, thanks amriel um yeah everybody i don't think we're going to be escaping back this way well only one of us could um <laughs> What do you mean? But I don't. I'm not gonna leave all you. How, how would you get through a magical ceiling? Uh, I can fly, bro. Uh -huh. mm. yeah, can you make make the ceiling part? Are, are you able to take on a goddess's power? Um, if queen? one of us could, it'd probably be me. Just saying. I mean, you're the, the, the guy that keeps being. I, we can both see up there. As a as a sorcerer, you certainly can see what I'm likely seeing. Yeah, but so. Dismiss it. I didn't say I could dismiss it. I just or fly up that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, fly out there. Well, then I'll just leave you three all here to die and, you know, start. <laughs> so far, that hasn't really been my MO. So, so you, you yes. Then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so my suggestion in this case is uh, we move forward together. Um, and then uh, if we get to a, a weird mishap or whatnot, we'll just have the new guy go forward in front of us. Okay, so is the plan to head out or not? Sorry, Max. I didn't agree to this. <laughs> it's I mean, called initiation. It seems strategically effective to send your newest soldiers into the, the fray first. Well, you know, you got to test them, right? <laughs> Baptism by fire. 
Well, then let's uh, move forward. Um, okay. Cyrus, would you like to lead? Cyrus does have the glowing weapon. I do. Uh, yeah, I'll... Uh, shaft in hand, I will move forward and uh, lead the way. Who's going next? Uh, I'll, I'll go next. Um, and I want to stay parallel to Cyrus, sort of like the same distance ahead. But to his his right. Oh got yeah, yeah. Mm. So you saw like going down. Yeah. So if uh, he yeah. if he drops down something, you're going to be <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> chases, I can trip him up. <laughs> got yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and what about the rear of the party? How's that going to be organized? I'd like to be third, but I can't move my token, so that's all right. I will I'll be, do I'll be I'll be fourth. I'll be fourth. Okay. I'm not making you go first. So um, you um, set off down this um, corridor. Um, well, it's more of a tunnel um, when you start down it. And you start walking and you continue to walk and walk and walk and walk. You walk down the corridor and you decide to take a, a rest um, because you feel that you've been walking for some time and the the corridor hasn't come to an end yet you rest and then you continue to walk using up your rations as you go um, along yeah go. Could, could i sort of this is going to sound really stupid but um, could I uh, it... make a note of the terrain and just make sure that we're not yeah. going in a big giant circle? Uh, yeah, um, so a really good idea. Just roll, uh, do you have a navigation skill? I think I actually do, he says. No, oh, no, that's my other character, isn't it? But I'm no He's a tracking skill, he could track himself. I, I've, got, I've got tracking. Okay, yeah, roll, roll, roll your um, tracking skill. Yeah, uh, and nice. You're you're definitely not going in circles. This um, tunnel seems to be um, incredibly long, and after roughly uh, a day, you think of walking and resting at various times. You start to notice a change in the wall, and the the change is quite subtle. Uh, to start off with but then it becomes more apparent and as these um, changes occur i would like you please to all make uh, a very easy endurance check oh no Right, so um, oh, Rohan's on form now with his. Um, so let's have a look. Um, Hasra's pack. I'd like to reroll uh, if I can. Uh, yeah, um, by all means. Buffalo B. Yes, and, and yeah. that's um, actually um, fine. And you, you, you feel tired. You, you feel that the energy is draining from you, and you do feel that when you stop and eat and drink it doesn't seem to be revitalizing you as much as you would have hoped and there definitely seems to be um some strangeness about this place um the the tunnel seems longer than what it should be and um, all the time, you notice your um, bar to be your um, witch site, your um, detect magic spell continues to have this background hum, um, but it's not actually picking up any substantial um, amount of of magic. And as you come to the end of the first day, it's when you. Um, suddenly notice that the the walls of the tunnel are changing the 
the cave rock itself is being replaced by murals and um, painted brickworks. And the dirty ground that you've been walking on becomes carved marble floors. And even as you progress into it, you notice that the ceiling changes and it starts to um, glisten and glitter. And there seems to be like um, maybe precious gems or bits of metal uh, reflecting um, off, the, um, off the ceiling. And you suddenly start to realise that you can see uh, a little bit better um, now. However, the the change in the new environment is not actually entirely welcoming because you notice that some portions of the wall seem to be stained. There's some kind of dried, dark coloured stains uh, on the wall and just catching um, your light Cyrus ahead, there seems to be um, a, ra a, a little bit lower section of the ceiling coming up. And there appears to be um, a body, or should I say what's left of a body, just hanging in the way. The other thing that you notice is that for the first time, you haven't seen anything like this up to this point. You definitely hear the faint buzz of flies that seem to be buzzing around um, the body. Um, Bartley, what do you see on this body coming up? You see any errors? Um, you want anything to emanating it? from it? I'm trying to decide whether or not to spin another magic point. You could. You'll have your. Um, you'll have your witch site up until the the end of the day. So you still got it up. You can have a look oh, okay. if you wish. Then I will. I'll use my eyes on this situation. Yeah, there's definitely no magic um, coming from it. Um, at all. Mm -hmm. However, Bartleby, you do definitely um, smell something. It seems something to... Something different from rotting body? No. Is it fresh cookies? <laughs> right, yeah. Freshly made bread. No, it's Ooh, definitely... <laughs> it's definitely um, rotting body smell. Oh. We're not um, used to that. We never kill. Can I move forward and just see if I can see how it died or he she yeah um but by, by all means you can start moving forward is there anything else that anybody wants to um spend this time looking at as well so has was going to go up to the body um does anybody else want to do anything at this point um i'd like to assist i like to do a perception skill. check on uh Make sure there's any, you know, and any, any noticeable traps. Obviously, I'm not a trap expert or anything, but make sure there's no noticeable traps as we get closer. Like, oh wow, yeah. All of a sudden, you step on, and then spike goes up through our butt. Okay, yeah, that's not a, a problem. So make a perception roll for me, Cyrus. Um, yeah. So you, um. You sort of like light the way with your um, your glowing weapon. Um, there doesn't seem to be any traps or anything that you can see. Um, you your as you sort of like go past the walls, your light um, sort of like picks up the the pictures um, on that and those um, those dark stains um, on the wall um, as well. Um, is there anything noticeable with the pictures or they're like, are they just giant murals to 
the weird uh har- harpy queen or yeah are they just you know random murials so what um what skill would you like to roll um i want to uh roll uh fine art uh no. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't have uh i don't i don't know if i have a, a Okay, so you can Skill that would you you can have a, a a look at them as you go. What about Rohan? What's Rohan doing? Uh, covering my face, you know, not trying to breathe in the dead body smell. Brilliant. Yeah. So, um, um, Hasra and Bartaby, you're going up to this um, body, and the first thing that you notice as you get closer is that there seems to be, um bone splinters cracked off bits of bone um on the floor round this body um this hanging body um as as well you sort of like notice that they're just on top of the marble um flooring uh, as you get closer and closer are they from the body or are they just randomly on the floor there you you think that okay. they're probably um if you've got a first aid, well, if you've got a first aid and I, I probably a healing or a medic, something to do with, does um, Bartaby have a, a, a healing roll? Yeah, I have healing. So roll that. Yeah, roll your healing as well. Okay, um, so you both look at these things and you both come to the conclusion that these bone splinters are probably not only from this body it's probably you come to the conclusion that this might be a a regular place to hang bodies and maybe when they've decomposed or they've fallen down or whatever then the remains are on the floor you know so it looks like the splinters that you're seeing is not all from this one body and I'm going to use your roles also to give you a little bit more about the um, body that you've got in front of you. Um, it's definitely seems to be in the early stages of decay. Um, probably mm, uh, about a week um, that it's been here. Um, you also um, notice that... There seems to be a uh, the the hilt and the pummel of what appears to be either a dagger or uh, a sword um, in its chest. Um, you um, also see that it goes right the way through um, out his back as well. Do, does the um, sword or dagger look? And I'm going to use Hasra's um, knowledge of, of, of weapons, I suppose. Just, it, does it look like it's a weapon or a ceremonial? No, it definitely it doesn't look ceremonial at all. Right. It looks like a... It's a proper yeah, end of the stick. Yeah. yeah. And there, there seems to be... Um, it seems to... It, there, it could either be um, a chain or an amulet that has been you can see the bit of the chain round the the body um because it's still decaying it's not just sort of like a skeleton but it looks like the sword might have caught something um as it was pushed into the body you can see the chain round the top of the person's the body's neck but then it almost like looks as if it's been pushed into the body, maybe by the sword. Uh, you're going to have to move. You can look around and see the, the sword coming out the back. Um, but yeah, it's either going to, as you could try to pull it out or you could try to move the body. You could try to cut it down. Uh, yeah, whatever you would like. I think we should probably cut it down. Mm. Cut it. Yeah. Okay then. So yeah, it's going to be a case of Hazra has been around dead things before, yeah, animals. So yeah. Um, so he's going to try and grab the clothing. Yeah. Well, Bartleby hopefully cuts the rope that's holding him up. Got yeah. Up. 
So um, since you mentioned the clothing, Hasra, that's something else that you notice now. Um, this body does not seem like a warrior or anything like that. It doesn't have armor on. It doesn't appear to be armed. Um, there's no um, weapons on it as well either. And it's, um, its clothing seems very um, low standard. Um Almost like rack like the urchins in Lindo. Yeah, very, very much like that. You know, nothing is really um, high quality. If anything, it's super low quality. Um, so yeah, um, if Bartleby does make me a, a brawn roll as you try to cut this thing down, my small blade, um, brawn. I'm going to do my best. Yeah, your best is your best is um, good I enough, and um, Hazra, you managed to sort of like lower it down. Um, yeah, this this longsword definitely goes right the way through. Now that it's mm -hmm. down, you can see. Oh. Just to let you know, beyond it now, the corridor or the tunnel continues with the engravings and everything. Mm -hmm. As the body comes down, I want to put it on its back, so hopefully that will then push the sword. Yeah, up. It, it would have worked um, perfectly um, in there, but the um, the sword is going in at an angle, so oh. it's like coming down like that. So mm. when you load the body, it almost like just alters. It sort of like pushes the tip to one way and the yeah. the the hilt towards the other. There's a lot of noises and it sort of like kicks up um a, a few flies that were there um this busily eating the um the eating, flesh eating. yeah yes. and now now both you notice especially as you disturbed it you can see now there's quite a a lot of um maggot infestation um mm. things like the eyes have are totally gone and there's quite a community of maggots um, swarming around, sorry, crawling around the eye sockets, finishing off um, um, everything, uh, yeah. Can I get my spear tip and just get hook it on this chain and see if it would pull this, this yeah, uh, necklace out? Is yeah, on the, on the end of it? But by all means, do that. Um, just roll for me a, a brawn roll. Yeah, so you um, hook um, the, you manage to get your spear um, underneath the amulet. It's a bit nasty work because you're actually having to pierce the skin and trying to um, prise it up. Um, obviously, are you going to try to do it all by your spear or are you going to prise it up enough to get hold of it and pull it? What's going to be the plan? Well, I, I just want to get it so I can see it. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll make a judgment on what, okay. to, you know, is a pull it off or not. Yeah. So it's, it's quite a thick chain. Um, it looks in the light to be gold yellow. Um, and, but the more that you look at it, it's almost as if maybe the, the sword has been punched, punched with the actual amulet part, if that makes sense. And actually almost like try to um, drive it um, into the body. Um, obviously, if that's happened after a while, the amulet has moved slightly and the swords come out the, the other side. Um, but you, you can, if you wish, try to pull it out of the body. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, then. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do it, but I'll, I'll do it in that sort of pensive way. But yeah yeah okay then so you um you are you're going to have to get a hand in there uh, i am <laughs> yeah Can i just hold on to the chains and pull it forward well yeah so you if once you get your chain up with the spear you'll be able to slip yeah. your hand and un underneath uh -huh. it um you can pull it and bow to be you can help if you wish if i want to just, just wash my hands it comes just use out. your hands <laughs> don't worry about it. just grab it and just pull it down oh my guess. Yeah, just we just grab the necklace. It's just, it's just, it. it's just gross maggots. That's all. Flies. I just want to see what's on the end of it because it's, it's a bit, yeah. Yeah. So is Bartleby helping or not? Very reluctantly. 
Okay then. Shade it. Just it won't take two to put a shade out. So you um you sort of like get hold of it and sort of like um has you take one of the chain sides to pull it out from the decaying um, body, and Bartleby, you take the other. You do find that there's a bit of tension as you pull it out. You think it might have got caught on on maybe a rib um, or something like that. If, if you say it's got the ship's anchor on it, and the- yeah. <laughs> Um, but you you managed to sort of like um, pull it away um, from the 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 body, and quite naturally there is um, various releases of stench and decaying um, flesh, and you sort of like get it out, and yeah, um, it seems to be uh, an amulet. It seems to have uh, a circular coin like um you know amulet part on it seems to be very it seems to have a pattern on it you sort of like wipe off some of the decaying matter and look at it and it just seems to be like a decorative um amulet and that's it mm. good about the climax yeah. <laughs> um i just have, have, have a closer look is 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 it something that has received before pattern wise or, or um uh, probably not it's anything not really that you symbol that no you're you're not familiar I mean Bartleby can have a yeah can I use my history knowledge maybe um yeah um by all means go for it yeah okay then so I'm going to use that role uh, for um something else um as well um you uh, you look at this um it's something that the, the pattern on the amulet is something that you've um never seen before um ever and you almost like come to the conclusion that this is probably from uh, a civilization that has long since gone from the the world um it's some of the patterns are familiar some of the shapes are familiar but the intricacy of it and how they overlap and the orientation of them definitely sort of like suggest that this is something that's been um in the world and but the the knowledge of the civilization has long since been lost and this also marries up with the paintings um, on the wall you notice that the symbols that you see on the amulet are replicated in the walls as well and you see it's quite it's reoccurring and it's quite um, not necessarily detailed but there, there seems to be some connection um, between it I'll, I'll relay that information to everybody of course yeah do you, do you think we should take it, Bartleby? I'm not sure. It could be a relic of the Harpy Queen herself. Maybe a bad choice to take it with us. Maybe it's an heirloom from a family for, for a poor person, and we're just, you know, grave robbing him. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Uh... <clears throat> All right, you guys uh, done playing with jewelry? Are you ready to go? Yeah, I, I guess I'll pass it back to, to Hazra and let him decide what to do with oh, it. Oh, just the other piece of information I was going to give you is that the the dark stains on the wall that you've been um, seeing, um, Bartleby, you definitely um, recognize that as, as blood. Oh, okay. I was hoping it wasn't. I was avoiding it. I thought it was mold. No, it's no, but it's moldy blood, so you will both oh, right. I, yeah. I was hoping red wine. <laughs> um, I thought there was a party place, not a bloody place. Yeah. Um, um is this is this chain thin enough to snap just to tear off? Um do you, do you mean actually break the um yeah, to, the to, chain to, link? To just grab the chain and, and yeah. Yeah, you off. you think it's going to definitely need some kind of um tools 
to actually break it. The the links are quite um, substantial. Okay. Yeah. You know. In which case, I, I will leave it. I'm not going to get go any deeper into this thing. So. Yeah, and um, probably a wise um, uh, choice. The the actual uh, rummaging about with this body has really um, taken its toll, and the stench and the flies are enjoying a a, a release um, at the moment. Um, yeah, so uh, is the idea to continue down the passage? Let's make company eat the bodies. <laughs> yes. Um, do you want to eat the body, Sorry. You just <laughs> wibble, wibble. <laughs> no, let, let's 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 press on. Get, I, I want to get enough distance away from from this thing. Yeah, the stench is is mm. becoming unbearable. Okay then. Um, so I thought that was you. You you're actually getting. To, you're you're now actually. Um, you feel that you're probably um, into. Uh, getting close to a time that you would normally rest for the night. Uh, but as you um, sort of like start to consider whether or not you should rest in this, dun this, this dungeon or underground tunnels, you come to um, a three-way fork um, in the road. Ugh. Um, just to let you know, the uh, decoration has maintained its um, form on the the tunnel walls, etc. Those that would be there now uh, until I purposely say it's it's disappeared. How about the floor? Is, is the floor dusty or clean? Or uh, no, it's a what I um, that's all gone, and there's that marble. It's just uh, marble surface now. Uh, yes, yeah, still, yeah. Right. So I, I, I wouldn't be able to check if there's been any footfall there. Um, no. No. It's all shiny and clean. Um, I do not know mm. which way for us to go. I say we <laughs> go down the middle path unless we can think of a reason to deviate from... Um, sometimes, I, I was thinking, is any of the artwork kind of leading up to this area, any of it, like, you know how... In, uh archit you know art like architecture movies or whatever or like they're in there is some word catacomb situation they see on the wall this way leads to death but this way leads to oh sometimes. yeah got you yeah 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 um, anything on the walls that might give us a clue like hey maybe yeah this way now you mention it it says exit no. <laughs> <laughs> See? Oh, um, it seems to be more scenes of a, a bygone life or civilization um there seems to be um scenes of sacrifice seems to be scenes of um battles um th there's nothing like sat down around a fire having a cozy time um, the majority of it is quite horrific and very um, portrayed with a lot of violence. And if we go into each of these, the start of each of these corridors, the, 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 the same on each wall. Yeah, um, but uh, once you cross over and sort of like get into the centre so you can see through all of down all of them, you do notice that there's um, a number of um, skeletons um, on the floor in all four, all three um, corridors. Um, they seem to be um, carrying with them. Um, there seems to be, um, some of them seem to have um, bows and you notice there's some um, arrows um, uh, around that some are sticking into these skeletons, some are just on the ground as if they've missed. Um, you do notice that um, they have some of these skeletons look like they were holding um, um, clubs. A couple of them seem to ha be having um, be holding clubs and having small shields on their arm. They're skeletons, but you can see that the leather still goes over their forearm. Um, some of them, there's some carrying just little daggers or there's daggers nearby. And there's even a, a short spear um, 
mm. in it, um, but you can uh, you can see round. Um, um, Cyrus, make us um, strategic because I think you have strategy. Come on, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's definitely been um, almost like a skirmish, probably not a battle, um, but being um, a skirmish. Does it look like they all fought each other or they fought something else? Um, you think, yeah, you, you think because some of them are, um, you can see arrows stuck in other skeletons. It seems to mm -hmm. be that the battle was against each other rather against um, something. Okay. Uh, so it, it wasn't that they were one group and then went into each corridor to like defend it? If you think it's probably more a case that um, maybe, yeah, well, maybe that could actually be the solution that they were defending the corridors from um, each other. Um, but it doesn't look like anybody made any progress, if that makes mm. sense. There's no obvious okay. signs that one won or anything like that. Yeah, I was wondering, like, just some survivor's bias and like saying, well, obviously the one, the, 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 corridor with the most dead bodies is probably the one we could go down because that means they lost yeah and, got, uh, got you yeah um yeah. if hasra hasra if you would like to roll your perception um standing in at um maybe to sort of like see if there's any um Ooh, yeah yeah um thing um yeah, uh, unfortunately, you're going for a hard roll. Mm -hmm. um, so you can use a point of luck and you will um, find, um, have a clue which way might be out, or you can just take it as No, a... go on. I, I will use a point of luck. Okay, there then. We go. There so we go. They, they, the, the one coming down, um, this one, you feel that there could be the small hint and a very small hint of um, maybe fresh air or wind or something like that. It's not continuous. And you sort of like, you know, keep peering down and they're def it's definitely this light glow down all of them but they seem to go on for quite a distance. But you get the feeling that there might be... Um, There's a bit of air movement down that. Yeah, area. not all the time. It's not constant, yeah. but yeah. Mm. So it's almost like it may be windy outside and the occasional gust is pushing air from miles away. Yeah, mo yeah. most. And oh, like, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, and so, but it's... <clears throat> well, if that's the case, then the Hasjan world will definitely point out the, the, the southern direction because yeah okay so the issue at the moment is that you're going to have a choice are you going to because we're coming to the end of a day mm. so the question is um are you going to stop and rest or are you going to um continue through the night it if we're going to rest, and and I, I, I'll, I'll talk to Cyrus because he's he's a the strategic person here, but wouldn't it be best to rest in a corridor where there's only front and back, and not here at the crossroads? Yeah, um, yeah, I agree. So that way we're not being attacked from all sides if there was an ambush. Uh, let's move. You said you were mentioning earlier that you saw a little what you thought was a, a little bit of a gust of wind mm, that I, was I, I, I i felt maybe a breeze maybe just and then it was gone maybe just a faint well, the, the pressure of the air just just mm, moving slightly i would rather go that direction than any other um, that mm. usually signifies a way out so yes uh let's do that let's go a little further down so that way we're not in a crossroads Maybe, and maybe then, move for 30 minutes, then maybe. And then, and then, yeah, hunker. Oh, down. I said, yeah. Uh, 
So, so like head on down for a fixed amount of time and then mm. almost try to um, have, a, have a, 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 a rest. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And yeah, you sort of like um, head down this corridor and it appears to be um, another long corridor. And even after 30 minutes, you suddenly find that you, you're still walking down it. And mm. the, the only thing that you do notice as you sort of like um, start to um, get a little bit um, further down the corridor is that you, you suddenly notice that part of the, the paintings on the wall, s tiny bits have been chipped off or f flaked off. Um, the, the actual paintings don't look as good as what they were. You know, and it seems to be that as you're going down here, that they're, they're subtly changing. Hmm. Well, no matter what, we we need to rest. We need to re maybe yeah, if, if we, we if we look at these in the morning or after the rest. Bartleby and I need to recuperate some of our magic points because of the battle earlier. So hmm. this is this is the time to do it. Hmm. And I, I, I would not mind just going into a little, see if I can go into a little trance. Yeah. As in meditating. Meditate, try to meditate, yeah. Yeah. Okay, then. So um, I need to know, um, without giving so much away, um, who's doing what, who's taking first watch, second, third, and fourth. So if you could just click on your counters and then hover over a color, then press a button so we can see the order. Um, Bartleby, um, you cannot get any devotion pull back. I assumed as much. Yeah. And it it seems to be there's no... It, it's all... You, you actually feel that you might have been almost like disconnected from amriel this, this place seems to be almost in another another time or another place and you definitely get that strange feeling um i'm just good i know you're all waiting patiently for me to give um your cyrus you should be able to use your token uh, um which has... direction was the gust of wind uh, we're going um, right, um, right, south. If we say south, south that would be easier. I'm just right. giving um, Bartleby, you should have um, control now. Uh, let me just... Uh, and Yeah, Rohan, you should have. So I'm going to reveal uh, a little bit more of it just so you've got a bit of um, space there. So you can sort of like um, move yourself along. You'll probably end up going up the top. So um, Bartleby's taking um, second watch, yeah? Correct. That's the midnight watch. So, I mean, even though I'm disconnected, maybe, you know, it's just like a long distance call. Yeah. Okay. Everybody else is staying up all night. How, how do you how do you exactly do the um, so number? If you oh, sorry, I put mine in the red box above my head. So if you click on your um, hang on, let me go back because I'm oh, need to be. Uh, so if you um, click on your token, um, so cool. you've got it selected. Then down at the bottom, there's a little circle. If you click that, you can see some color discs. Hover over the disc say go for red or blue and type in a number just press a number key and it will automatically do it oh, there so you go. Put in the circles above my head yeah uh, so cyrus it looks like you're four yay, <laughs> yay. Um, let's give you i'm i'm good i'm good i was i was i thought that was diarrhea color that we got <laughs> <laughs> A nice diarrhea color for what's happening in the what's going to 
uh, happen. Um, uh, okay, then. So um, I'm presuming you're just going to almost like huddle together or space yourselves um, out um, in the corridor. Is that the plan? Mm-hmm. Well, for this, for the, the go down, I or the, if we're going. Are you asking if we're, are we going to park here in the in the middle there, or are we going to go further down? Uh, no, we've already, we've already traveled half an hour. Yeah, we've already, it oh, is. We've already done that. Okay. Yeah, got it. I've just sort Theater of like of the mind. Yeah. <laughs> so you're actually on the same map as I have. Um, mm. but it's just got no markings on. So we're just using it as a a view rather mm. than anything. So, so we, we kind of like um so, half an hour's walk down there. All right. Yeah. Um yeah, at, at that point I guess we can uh then you know get ready for the night and you know do our typical right. all right, you stay up for two hours and all that stuff. I'm gonna lay traps for rabbits. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Lots of bloody rats. It's like hammering in the the, <laughs> the snare into the marble. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> um, okay then. Um, so um, a few things happen during the night. Um, the first thing, anybody who's trying to get magic points back, um, nothing comes back to you um, at all. Um, mm. You rest. Um, you seem to have done everything according to plan, but your your rest is disturbed by um, horrific nightmares and dreams and um, people being killed. And you wake up so frequently um, that you actually, um, you don't gain any magic points back at all. Um, Hazra, you wanted to um, try meditation, I think. Yeah, I just wanted to just um, this... see if I can attune myself with, with my talisman. Yeah. And just maybe get a feeling of what's going on right yeah. here. Yeah. So let's see. You should have a trance roll, I think. I do. Yeah. Uh, who? Yeah, and uh, just that's a bit like Rohan's skills. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, just I, I always said I'd do a trance every night if possible. Yeah, I yeah. feel attacked. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you get the same feeling, um, Hasra. You you almost like get the feeling both the magic people and you, Hasra, when you're going trying to go into trance that you're not in the same place as you were before it's as if you've been dislocated from odess mm. or all the time so it doesn't look like um the sleep is bringing you back magic points or um making you in contact yeah. um we're not in kansas anymore you're certainly not and the um yeah and please if you brought rations with you uh, do um start um chopping them off oh, um okay then so you have a really strange night but mm -hmm. but nothing appears to come near you or anything like that you feel very much in a in a strange place as if you're um um trapped here and when you come round, oh, sorry, when you come out of sleep, you have to almost like take some time to relocate which way you're going. And it's only, you know, when you first wake up, you sort of hit, which way did we come that way or that way? And mm. once everybody sort of like is up, uh, you sort of like agree on a direction and head off um, down it. Is there anything anybody would like to do before you set off walking then? Mm, um, thinking back to the, the day before, I, I want to just take a moment and just to see if I can feel that slight pressure of air. Yeah. Moving, uh, so and to give, give us more of a chance of going the right way. Yeah, so roll, roll your perception. It's a hard roll still. Oh, no. 
Oh, that, uh, yeah. You, you've... I'll just have to follow the arrow that Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> you just follow the exit side. There's, <laughs> the one. There, there's one of that little man running. Yeah. <laughs> for the... Maybe later on there'll be one of those things going down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so you, you head off. Um, you, um, your fire blade has run out by now. Your witch sight has run out by now. Um, so if you want to recast it, um, Cyrus, you can do by spending um, a magic point. We didn't get any additional magic points. You didn't get anything back, no. Yeah. But we um, saw, there, is a, there is a light here, isn't there? There's a glow. There is, yeah. Right, so I will, we, we don't I will need... just hold it back until, unless yeah. I need it, I feel, I feel like a there's a glow. That we could light. So I'll, I'll light my lantern and I will not re-up on my witch site. Okay then, yeah. So the the lantern um, gives a much more pure light than what's actually lighting the corridors. But you do feel, Bartby, that it doesn't cast light as it was before. That also seems to be slightly um, subdued. And so you set off the next day. So this is the second day down here. And you carry on down this... Um, this corridor and again it's go you're walking down this corridor for almost like you feel that it might be noon or you might have set off really early in the morning it might only be 10 o'clock but you have no real um way of knowing what the time is there's no there's no um subtle differences in the light um, or anything like that and you carry on down this corridor and as you carry on the the paintings become more and more decimated it looks like things have been um, chipped off things have been forced or um, slapped onto the walls or something like that and you suddenly become aware that there seems to be something on the walls somewhere on the walls some something and it oh. it looks like um in the light it looks as if it's um i'm trying to probably just like sludge green sludge um it's not covering all the walls there just seems to be patches um of it and it seems to be quite, um, it's not painted on. It seems to be some th some kind it's of... Like a moss or something growing off like, algae. It, well, it's, all, it's like that in form, but it, it looks very translucent. It looks as if it's some kind of sludge that's been put on there that's green. It's ectoplasm. Yeah, yeah something, something like that. And you can see it. Um, on both sides of the wall it started off just being one bit and then it's it's now looks like there's um, more of it it's not on the floor though is it it's nothing on the floor at all like we're just walking to the kids choice awards guys um <laughs> all right that's terrifying Let's just keep pushing on. We the, we know there's there's nothing behind us. Well, apart from those other two corridors, but we we don't, don't worry about that. We must keep pushing forward. Okay. Um. Can everybody roll for me a hard perception? Uh, it's gonna be hard. You're asking a lot for me. <laughs> um. Right, Rohan, you don't. Um, Cyrus sees it. Um, Hasra sees it. Uh, did Bartleby see it? No. No. Okay then. Um, so it's it's probably the two people, you know, near the front that actually start to notice. You you get this feeling that this sludge is moving. Um, to start off with, it just seems to be out of the corner of your eye. And mm. then um, both of you actually see two bits of sludge 
actually join into one bit of sludge. Um, still on the wall. And is it... I mean, Hazard doesn't know what gravity is, but is it against the... the, the, the the, the lay of the land is, yeah is it, it's going, yeah going up and one going down no, it it was actually they were um they side seemed they seemed to get close to each other and, and then, then go <laughs> yeah so it's not about running down a window no not at all Bartleby the Rohan just what? What's the walls? That this, this slime is moving. Uh, can I roll my lore monsters about living slimes? <laughs> yeah. Was this? Was I, <laughs> yeah, it was not. Uh, yeah. Um, um, you. Um, it's not something that you're familiar um, with in a sense of a monster. It looks almost, you relate it more to some kind of maybe plant um, or um, fungus. Um, but when you, about to be used, you know, you need to have a, a closer look. And as you get, you notice that there's something in the, the sludge that's moving. Um, it looks like there's something inside it that is sort of like wiggling and like writhing. A or, or, yes. Yeah. Um, and you you definitely um, see that now. And it's. It, it is, sorry. It seems to be as if it's trying to find more of its kind. Is it something that Halsha would have seen with his law nature? Um, you can roll it, yeah, by all means. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it's it seems quite alien to um, Hasra. Well, it's just frog spawn to him, really. Yeah. Mm. That's probably the closest that it, it comes to. But, Bartaby, you actually do get a feeling that this is maybe not sentient, but definitely uh, alive. Yeah, and, like, maybe we shouldn't bother it on its quest to find more of its own kind. If it's not bothering us, we shouldn't bother it. Yeah. Okay, so... Press on. Yeah, so as you um, carry on down, you suddenly notice that this, um, this blob, these blobs, um, start to take up more and more um, of the um, walls. And you suddenly notice that up ahead the um the blobs on the wall are actually covering it from ceiling um to floor and there's little blobs around it that's joining onto it and at that moment the blobs peel themselves off the wall as if they're they're so big now they can't stay on, on the wall um, anymore. And you notice that they form on the, on the ground to be um, some kind of blob creature. And they all seem to have taken um, a liking to the four people that are in the corridor. And so we're about to go um, for our break. But just before we go, let's um, ensure that we um, roll um, some um, initiative. I think that would be a good thing. Let me just take Death Pincer off. Um, don't, I think you should all be able to um, click your your token and yeah let's roll some initiative oh yeah i got my best possible roll 19 nice yeah, i got my really worst good. possible roll just <laughs> uh, let me check my um, initiative Ooh. modifier i have put in chat what i think it might be
Okay. Uh, what's your initiative uh, modifier, Bartby? Uh, nine. Uh, nine. So I'm going first. Duh, duh. Or oh, Hasra, you're coming right the way up to the top. Uh, Rohan, you're going just after um, Bartleby, but before Cyrus, um, which is good to know. Um, so just to remind you, the order that you're in is Cyrus, Hasra, Bartleby, Rohan. Okay, so I'll just sort of like, I'll just move people around the corner so we know. And also remember, when we come back, you can't, you can go through somebody um, in your movement, but you can't fight next to somebody. Okay, um, we are going to take our first uh, and only break of the evening. Um, we'll be back at quarter to the hour when we'll see whether or not the party can actually deal with some green blobs that are on the wall. Okay, it should be fun, believe me. So do come back again. Okay, then um, we will head off and we'll be back uh, real soon. We are um, back and we're all fed and watered and we're um, in the middle of, well, you're just about to start combat and these green uh, blob, sorry, I'm, I'm smiling because they were talking about Mr. Blobby <laughs> in the chat. If anybody knows who, American people do, American people. Do you know what Mr. who Mr. Blobby is? No. Blobby, Blobby, Blobby. <laughs> Was he president for four years? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, there is a picture in the Discord of Mr. Blobby. Um, so he was well known in. in he, I think he's of the same caliber as um, Mr. Bean. That sort of like. Uh, he had a number one song. Did he? Mm, I'm sure it's number one. I'm going to Google it now. Was it? Was it Blobby Blobby? <laughs> all, all he used to say is this he just go oh blubby 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 and then and then do silly things and fall over and it's typical um slapstick humor and we loved it um so let's start with combat um get ready with those casters um <laughs> people uh, at the back um cyrus you're at the front uh, with your glaive out with no glow and um and Hasra, you go um first. There is room between Cyrus and these blobs if you want to go past and occupy that space, or you can throw your spear over Cyrus's head. Uh, he's not, he's not, um, or you could draw a weapon. And what would you like to do? Um. I'm going to. It, it is a space in front of Cyrus for me to go. Mm. Yeah. In which case, I will. I'll stand in front of Cyrus. In fact, I'll probably go a step further forward. Yeah. Um, to leave enough gap behind me if anybody wants to come behind me. Um, within spear reach of this thing, and I'm going to just... I'm not going to thrust my spear. I want to bash my spear into it. Oh, I'd say in reverse it. Well, I want to use the shaft. Yeah, well, it, it'll be the same thing, wouldn't it? It's just, mm. you know, it's, it's, it's just a shaft with a, with a tip. So you don't, want to, you don't want to use the tip. You just want to use the main I want, shaft. I want, I want to whack, yeah, whack down mm. if possible. Okay. Yeah, um, so spend your action point and roll. Oh, let's have a go. Um, yeah, that that obviously um, hits. Let me just. <laughs> Be more like a clubbing action, isn't it? Really. Isn't it? Yeah. Um. So you bring it down um, on the on the blob. And probably as you were expecting, as it pushes down, the blob sort of like gives way. Mm. And then there's almost like that <clears throat> press, 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 press. And then it sort of goes, and your 
the end, your spear um, is now in the blob. Um, it's actually inside the um, blob. Uh, I'm going to take some half damage. You don't get a special. Um, there, there is um, a hit location. Um, if you would like to um, roll it. Um, 12, yeah, okay, then, yeah, so I, I see where it's going in, uh, 9, 4, 5, yeah, da, da, da. yeah, so it's now, um, your spear is actually in the blob, um, it looks like, um, it might have done some damage to the outside as it, um, comes, um, in, and, but, um, apart from that, um, that's um, all. So on 19, my two blobs spend their action to blob together. Does that make sense? So they've now one huge blob, and it seems to have your spear um, in the, t the end of your spear in there. And we move to um, Bartleby on 19 as well. Um feeling mildly horrified, I'm going to do the only thing I can think of that might help in this situation. I'd like to make a handprint-sized uh, bit of fire that, that suggests, uh, no. Please, no. <laughs> that does anything. You go... Phew. It, well, it, 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 like, it, a, a spot on it bursts into flame, but it's it's like my hand print, and it's saying, no, no, no. Get out of here. Right, so you... Um, uh... You're attacking with this, then, yeah? Yeah, I'm. I'm hoping that fire might make it uh, freak out or run away or something. Okay, then. I, I don't think this is really like a damage spell. It's more of a yeah. Got, got, yeah, yeah. Um, so my folk magic, folk magic. Oh, yes, please. Um, yeah. So you um ignite your um hand and to sort of like use it as a way, a threatening um torch action. Um, oh no no! I meant like uh, the handprint uh, appears on its body. So oh, I range spell. I I, I got yeah. Set part of it on fire at least temporarily. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I understand now. So that that goes um on to the um, blob. Um. It doesn't set a light, but it does seem to not enjoy it as it um and being hit, and it almost like retracts uh, away from it. Um, Hasra, can you make a, a brawn roll, please? Um, yeah, so you've, um, you feel this, um, as it contracts, you feel that your um, spear gets almost like sucked into it more. Uh, yeah, as it's yeah, sort yeah. of like, but you, you managed to keep hold of it. So you sort of like pulled forward a bit, but you got your hands firmly um, on it um, mm -hmm. as it does that. Um, Rohan. Uh, I'd like to uh, cast Bludgeon on my chain. Yeah, um, by all means. So roll your folk magic uh, skill. I always forget oh. Rohan got oh, the... <laughs> oh. uh, I'll use a luck left, point. Yeah. I, yeah, I'll use a luck point. Use control. a luck point. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yes! Oh, the yeah, fingers yeah. crossed. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, detect um, one magic point, and you've now got bludgeon um, on your chain. Brilliant. And we move on to Cyrus, um, last but not least. Um, Cyrus on 11, what would you right. like to do? Um, as Hazra is thrusting, I'm going to uh, come from behind. I mean, sorry, uh, that's, that's a bad way to say that. Um, no, I'm going to actually uh, focus on uh, getting up my rack spell. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that, I get, so that way I, I don't have to fight Hazra for uh, the same spot. Yeah, um, got you. So uh, what are you... Um... What are you putting um, onto it? Obviously, you'll have to adjust um, range. Uh, Just range and magnitude, I think, is, um, is the only things I'm going to focus on. 
yeah. Um, so that would be uh, what you what are you setting the uh, magnitude? Um, at? Well, I don't use it with um, with range. I'll I'll max it out with ra- the magnitude. I think range is not too far. So yeah, I- so you can probably do the um, the power in the mm-hmm. um, as as meters, and then uh, you want to. Well, how many shaping points do you have? Seven. No, eight, sorry. Eight. Eight. So you'll do um, one to increase the um, range, and therefore you... Seven for magnitude. Uh, yeah, which will give you... Less you know. Uh, so um, s- seven... Yeah, so you'll have a seven as your magnitude. Got you. Um, so that's brilliant. So that would take you um, three turns to cast. Um, one to cast the spell, but you're changing two other things. So this is your this is your turn um, one um, at now. And we'll dive up to the top. And yeah, Hazra, you're back up at 21. Mm, I want to try and pull my spear out of this thing. Okay, um, then. Yeah, it's my spear. It's my spear. You're going to reclaim oh. it. Do you know what I'm doing? Do you know what I'm going to do? You're going to use a point of look at it. And, and, and reverse it. Um, that won't give you a crit, will it? No, it's Herculean, isn't it? Not quite a crit. Oh, uh, right. So, oh, no, will it? no, no, 61. No, it has to be a 70, doesn't it, to be a proper crit? But, yeah. Yeah. Um, so you sort of like... Um, pull it out and the it's almost like it takes the blob with it and then at the end it goes like that and your your spear um is out and at that point um 19 is me and so we will roll um so my uh attack is 62 um so that um, 62, 51. So that is still because I need to take um, 11 off for, for you. Um, so what would you like to do, um, Hazra? It's coming to, it seems to be sending out some kind of um, tender. Yeah. Yeah. Ten, yeah. Um, <coughs> I, I am going to try to parry or dive out the way. Or take yeah. it, take it out like a man. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm, I'm going to try to. There's, there's no way I can use my athletics to sort of jump back, is there? If I no. start thinking towards. Yeah, well, you can, you can, you can evade. That's not a problem. There's enough space for you to evade because you left space, but it yeah. will end. You will end up as prone. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and parry because okay. I. Yeah. So you want my my attack skill? Yeah. Um, yeah, so um, you managed um, to parry it. Um, how big is your weapon? Uh, medium. Um, medium. Uh, yeah, so you actually um, parry um, all the um, a damage attack. None of it c- gets through you. And however, it does, as, it, as you sort of like knock it aside with your spear, it does grab hold of that spear um again um on its 19 but its attack definitely missed you and bartleby you're up well uh bartleby doesn't have a lot of cards to use here um so i I feel like the best i can do is just maintain the soul lantern that is lighting our way make sure everybody has good view okay and it's, uh, so you're really, I, I take it that you're going to delay just in case you want to take an offensive action. That is exactly uh, what Yeah, I mean. okay, that's on 19. And so, Rohan, you're on 18. You can move up to be behind um, Hazra um, if you wish. Um, I would love to. Yeah, okay, so you can move yourself um up um do you want to um attack um at the end of that yes i would like to go for an attack yeah okay then so this blob is sort of like taking up the majority of the corridor so it's quite um 
just Hazard just needs to make sure he ducks as it comes over his head. Yeah. Go for it, Rohan. Oh. oh, yes. This is what you you're this is what you're made for. Um so I you're actually going to get a, a special on me, so I need um hit location special hit locations and damage. Uh for a special Trip uh, won't work, just so you know. <laughs> I'm guessing Entangle won't either, will it? Um, does it... It means... Um, when you entangle, it means a certain bit of me cannot be used, isn't it? Uh, yeah, certain bits... Uh, or can't move and... Or just make it... Rolls harder. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, yeah, so yeah, I I think you can um, try to use that. I, I don't see um, an issue with that, and it would be your natural reaction because that's what you do with your chain. Um, in any case, um, so yeah, so we can try to um, entangle it with the um, the chain. So do um, do a hit location and some damage for me. Remember, you've got um, bludgeon. Um, on, because I think that increases it by one stage. Does yep, it? So yep. it'd be one d six. Yeah. Okay. Um. So where did it go? Twelve. Oh, st right in the same place as was hit by um Hazra. And how many? Oh, nice. Four. Yeah. Um. As it sort of like um. You almost like use its its own engulfing power um, to get get your um, chain um, in there. So it's it's now absorbed within the um, within the beast. Um, but you can probably, if you yank it free, and uh, the same happens for you as as well. You actually do damage to it um, if you pull it out. Um, so Cyrus, you're still spell casting, I'm assuming. Yep. Yes. Yep. Brilliant. So this yes. is turn two, and we Bring go we go back up to um, turn three for anybody who has action points left. Um, Hazra. No, I, I'm spent. You're spent. Blobby is spent. Bartleby. No, you're. You don't have any more, yeah. Um, Rohan, do you have three? One. You got one left, yeah. Um, brilliant. So you can um, pull your chain out, and because it was entangled in there, and you had your advantage, it will do um, some damage as it comes out. So yeah. But yeah, you, I'd like to go for pulling yes. it out. Yeah. So you, you need to roll a successful brawn roll. Oh, oh boy. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> um, do you wish to uh, roll it again with a point of luck? There's no way I'm going to succeed, so no. No. Okay, then. just to remind people watching the stream, if you'd like to help the characters or the players, then by donating um, 100 bits, you're allowed to give um, a luck point to somebody or um, the, or one pound sterling um, British one sterling British pound also does it. So if you'd like to do that, um, just um, put it on your bits and then let us know who um, is getting the luck points. Um, so yeah, so Rohan, you're um, you try to yank it out, and as you see this, you see the chain go in, and then it's been trying to um, yank uh, it out. And Cyrus, you will be your third um, turn of casting, won't you? Yes. So yeah. So let's um, activate Let yours. Rip. Yeah. Come on, baby. Give me the good stuff. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. So you need a uh, hit location whereabouts it's going to go. Uh, you did twelve. Oh. Fourteen. A different area. Yeah. Okay then. And then I need your rack damage. Is it one d eight? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll do 1d8 really quick. Six. Nice. Nice, nice. Fire it up, baby. 
Okay. Um, yeah. So that's um, everybody. So you you you're now licking it with um, fire. You so obviously took um, notice of what happened with Bartaby with the ignited hand slap, and decided to um, go for it um, as well. Uh, we come to you, um, Hasra. All action points are restored. Um, Hasra, you're on twenty one. Are you in or out? I can never. I should have made a note. Um, I'm. I'm. I'm in because the parry. You said it entangled it. Again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but a question on that: mm. If it's entangled in the beast, can I still use that weapon to parry? Um, so it's like because it would have been a spear. Could I then like move it around the end, or on? I would have to play. I, I think. I think it depends what the. Um, what the blob does mm. um i mean you can pull it out now um and with a brawn well to pull it or you can push it further in or wiggle it about inside if you would um prefer oh so you can actually now that it's in there you can try to you give jack, it a bit more uh, thrust. yeah yeah uh, would that be a brawn as well i take it um no it'd be a normal combat role combat. Okay. <laughs> but but just so you know, because you're pushing it in deeper, I get closer. No, your brawn roll to pull it out is uh, it's going to be hard. Hard, yeah. yeah. But if a parry gets stuck again, yeah. Okay, no. What we're going to do is we are going to push it in. Um, my friends are behind me. Can I just say, I'm Captain? Thrust deeper. Captain, I am not looking at you on camera at all. I mean, you just, no. I, I'm just refusing to look. I'm just thinking. No, I think one, once, once, it, yeah, once it tips in, you've got to, you've got to just go that extra way. Um, and and then the other, tw- the other half. Yeah. yeah. I'm um, coming up the stairs now. Uh, yeah, so you, you give it a good old shove. And it goes deeper into this um, blob. This uh, blob. So you will you will have um, uh, a special if you can think of one that you want to use. So things like yeah. Im- impale might be a good one um, now. Um, you know, so mm. you're almost like pushing it even deeper. Because um, I'm going to end up pulling it out anyway. So yes, I'm gonna I'm, I am gonna impale it. Yeah, it's very good. Okay, so hit location first. Give me a 12. Is it coming? Yeah. Uh, 13. Um, that's in the same location as the rack spells um, in. Mm. So do two damage rolls. Two damages, yeah. Oh, no. Plus. Uh, I think we'll go for the four. four. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which is enough to take me down on that. Um, which case, um, my endurance is 46. Oh, <laughs> I got a crit. Um, so it's still up and um, working. Uh, awesome. Yeah. That's... It's, it's, it's healed. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, so I'm I'm a little bit closer. I'm a little bit more sweatier. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll end, end there. Yeah, uh, brilliant. So um, it's the blobs um, go now, and it shoots out another tendril. So you're sort of like um, pulled in at Hazra as you as you plunge it in deeper, and then you suddenly do notice that there's a tendril coming to you um, from the the side. Um, I, I'm 62, so I'll be 51 uh, with my roll. Oh, by the skin of your... T- oh, I can imagine it's like pushing in this tendril goes to where my head was. Uh, yeah. And, yeah. It does sort of like, you just you get a bit of um, blob spittle. Bit of snot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, as it um, tries to grab you. Um, but is unsuccessful. Um, um, Bartleby? Um, I would like to take a quick look behind 
like uh, from different areas like to make sure that there's no blobs sneaking up quietly behind me yeah um so you can uh, look behind as well a perception check for me please i am the king of seeing everything oh okay oh, not yeah not bad at all so what you um you do notice that the bits of blobs are seem to be moving down the corridor to this one um as if some kind of um pheromone or something like that is um telling it to telling them to come and aid in the battle there's none actually near the blob at the moment so they're about like uh about 20 30 feet away um at the moment that you can see them sliding uh, along the walls um rohan step all over <laughs> so rohan your um your chain is in um at the moment so you can um brawn roll it and pull it out if you wish i'm i'm gonna try to pull it out again yeah yeah <sighs> somebody's going to be working on their brawl you, you, you know you know you know what i'm gonna use my luck point my, my last one Max, <laughs> i know how you feel <laughs> 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 It's why a little uh, priest got a. Oh, so close, so close. I mean, yeah, the uh, it's still firmly um, in there. And Cyrus, you've got some rack damage, I do believe. Luckily, I'm not having to work on my work. I uh, pull out game. I'm able to just focus on this instead. Let's focus. Uh, <laughs> um. Well, I'm actually, I'm just going to continue my my rack. Yeah. Before. So do yeah. You, you, you're you're the fluffer. Do is it? Uh, so you just roll your damage. Uh, um, yeah. Um, yeah. Nice. So um, I'm having to um, roll again now. Um, so my um, endurance is forty six. Come on. No. Okay then. So um, what happens as you? Um, you almost like burn through um, the blob and the um, you sort of like shave off a bit of it that sort of like um, fizzles a bit and falls to the ground and the, the blob itself retracts um, violently. Um, Hasra and Rohan, I need brawn rolls from you both. Oh, Rohan! <laughs> That's what I've been waiting for. Um, yeah, so um, you feel the tug, um, Rohan, and almost like go with it. Are you looking? Has no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm all, I'm out of my luck, and I don't want to use the communal luck. Right. Yeah. So you feel the um, spear. Um, tugged from from your uh, yeah from your hand you can see a single tear yeah and the, the my father's spear uh but you also notice it sort of like pulls it out and once you let go of it it was as if you were holding it in in tension mm. and therefore it gets engulfed a little bit more um into the the green um blob and we're going back up to the top now for um, round two still, but turn two. And yeah, Hasra. Is the spear still reachable? Yes. Um, but there's pass. there's yeah. less of it. It's so therefore it. your brawn roll, if you want to pull it out, yeah. will be once one I'm, grade I'm going to I'm going to stare at it with fanatical zeal. <laughs> And I'm going to lunge and grab it. And, and pull it. it and yeah. pull it back. Okay, then. Let's see if you're up there. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, so you you now have hold of it. Yeah. Um, but it's you don't pull it um, out. No. And, yeah, um, so it's the blob's roll. And the blob now pulls that spear Um further in it's all it's going to be almost like all in in the um blob um so and you'll get a, a 
decision what to do um, in a second if mm -hmm. I hit. So 62 I'm looking for. Um, yeah, so I actually um, succeed. So you have a choice. Okay, you can either just go with it, in which case your hands will be in the blob. Um, or not the first time. <laughs> <laughs> or you can roll evade, which means that you release it quick enough. So even though your spear goes in, you manage to leave go of it um, before it your hands get into it. You won't end up prone or anything. It's just a reaction to um, leave go of it. What would you like to do? See, this is difficult for me. Um, if my hands are stuck in it, I won't be able to do anything else. I'm going to evade. Oh, oh, oh yes. Um, so you feel it being tugged in and think, oh, oh my giddy ant. And as it gets pulled in, you sort of like leave go of it just as it goes... And you can see your spear is now um, in the, in the blob, um, Bartaby. Um, I I uh, want to use my free action, I guess, if I can, unless I use that with my perception. Um, was that in round two? Um, yeah. 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 So you would have used it um, in round two. So you won't have another free action now until um, round three. Okay, and in that case, um, I'm I just I'm gonna prepare to try and block if anything blocks happens from joining the party. Yeah, nice. And Rohan, you can pull, try to pull out your um, chain. That's probably the best idea to do. At I, I'm I'm gonna continue trying to pull out the chain. Come on, you've done it once, but uh... not twice. <laughs> <laughs> at least it's not a critical fail uh, yeah uh, that is true and cyrus you will need to roll another hit location uh, okay. because the hit location that you hit before have has now been removed so imagine that the blob is just made up of separate parts and you're slowly uh, you're slowly going at uh, it yeah Ooh, 17 Ooh. um that's yeah. that's a new location but do is this like a Cheese wire. Yes. Yeah. It's like, a go. Like that. Yeah. Um, do some damage for me. Yeah. Six. Um, okay. And um, we're back up to the top of the round uh, for anybody who has um, action points left. Um, has, no, has run. I do not. No. Um, Blob doesn't. Bartaby doesn't. Rohan. You have action going, going again. Yeah, yeah. Last one going again at trying to get the chain out again. Come on, oh. come on. Oh, you're getting better. You are getting better. It's looking a little better. Yeah, and there's almost like a tug and war match going on. Has you can see this chain, and it seems to be the blob seems to be sucking it in, and then Rohan is sort of like trying to pull it out, and it's just firmly um, stuck in there. Um, Cyrus, do you still have action points left? I do. I'm going to crisp this baby up. Yeah. Ooh, Ouch. Yeah. It's getting crazy. I'm having good, good uh, damage rolls. Yeah, you, you're yeah, doing fair. really well. Um, yeah. So um, this is my endurance. 46 is my endurance. Um, yeah. <laughs> so you, um, you managed to um, slice uh, another piece off. And it's it's looking pretty um, dire now. That you can almost like see anybody who can see it. You can see it's almost like um, slowly depleting um, in size. And um, you notice that um, Hazra and Rohan, you notice that it started to dissipate and split itself um, back up. And um, you can. Um, Roll your brawn skills now, but um, it's just uh, no. Um, Rohan, you can roll your brawn skill at easy um, now as it slowly dissipates. Um, yeah, you find a slight release, but um, not enough to pull it out. Um, Hazra, your your spears in here. Are you diving in after it? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to. Um... <laughs> 
Oh, please. I was in saying, get my spear. <laughs> yeah. Why <laughs> you? Get my spear. Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm going to be drawing my scimitar in a second and trying to slice this thing down to size. Okay, then. Um, so we'll head back up to the top. Um, anybody who has um, two. Um, so Bartleby, I think you're two if you're making the endurance check. And Rohan, if you're, are you two? Sorry, what was that? Right. Do you was... do you make an in, a fatigue roll every two rounds or three? What's what's your um constitution? Eight. Eight. So um yeah, it'll be every um two rounds. So roll. Right. Cool. Oh. Pretty bad. Yeah. Um. So you'll increase your fatigue by um one level. And we come to you, Hasra. So in one fluid motion, while stirring up my spear slowly, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing, I'm going to pull my scimitar out and slice downwards into this thing. Nice. Do some, uh, do your to hit roll. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, nice. Um let me see whether or not I can make um just to let you know now, people, because I've got two things in me, the uh my skill is now harder. Um so when I'm rolling I'm trying to get a hard. So it's it's now taken um that effect. So um um six that won't will not hit uh with my skill. So yeah, I need a um Special location and sorry, um, locations yeah. nine. Yeah, special is I don't think a bleed would work on this, would it? Doesn't really have blood, it probably has no. ooze. Um, and that's that's it. Um, you in, could in which... you could use choose location, um, mm. as yeah. your special, um, save, um, save my chain. Yeah, you. Save no, I'm going to do choose location. I want to go for twelve, in that uh, case, which is what I've hit before. Yeah. Okay, then. Um, and it's still so, there. So do some um, damage for me. Five. Nice, nice, nice. So um, I'm rolling my uh, endurance again. Hello. Um, yeah, so it it's you s notice now that it the the blob is definitely um, dissipating w once again. It seems to be breaking up, and there's certain bits of it that's going to the walls. Some sort of like going down. Um, you notice, um, Rohan, that your chain you suddenly be able to discon um, disconnect it from the blob, and you also notice um, has a that your spear um, falls to the ground. Um, mm -hmm. Cyrus, you are, your tendril is still round um, one of the bits. So if you want to do some damage, you're more than welcome to. I'm just going to let the dog have it back in two shakes. Yep. Oh, no. Yeah. The, but you do singe a little bit of it quite, That's quite well. Yeah. Um, as you uh, progress in this. This now, the blob seems to be a lot more um, wary. And you can even see Bartaby that further down the tunnel near you, it started to, they started to go back somewhat uh, as if they um, revere you rather than anything um, else. Okay. Uh, nice one. Yeah, so what's going to be the... Um, we we'll wait till Medivac comes back. Need loading music. <laughs> I'm sitting here consuming uh, jerky or whatever. Well, I was thinking more like a some smooth jazz, but you eating jerky, I guess. Is... Yeah. What's jerky? It... You don't know like, it. Uh... Is that the thing? Mm. In, uh, like dried, like dry, meat. dried meat. Oh, like beef jerky. Yeah. 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 
All right, yeah, so I thought. I imagined. Yeah, I wouldn't eat it, but. Um, I mean, I it's, it's really, it it's really good. It's just really expensive. And plus, I'm a veggie, so I don't think. <laughs> Is it real meat then? Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's just it's dried out. What is air dried? Right. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, he's back. Welcome back. Or is he? He he is. He is. We can't. What's it? What signal is he giving us? He's. Oh, I see. He's doing the. Yeah, I I I see. I am back. Sorry, no, I forgot to yeah. mute myself. Um. So, um. Just so you know. Um. Oh, is there anything you want to do? Um. After the um battle. Pick up my spear, put my scimitar away. Yeah. Clean, clean up the gloop. Absolutely fine. Um, um, yeah. Just take stock of what's happened because this is such a strange thing that has happened. Yeah. Um, you, um, both, um, anybody, um, in the party almost like gets the feeling that you're coming across things that Bartaby knows from his law of monsters that there doesn't seem to be anything like this um, on record. Um, it's almost as if it's quite alien. And you make a mental note, Hazra, you know, to mm. definitely... I was just about to write it down to... Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you neither or any of you, you don't have any recollection of anything that has been like this um, before at all. It's almost like a bit like the uh, the now um, um, forgotten civilization. Uh, you've never seen anything like this blob before um, at all. Is there anything in my healer's kit that I might be able to like take a sample of this blob with a with a knife and like put it in a glass vial or yeah, something it, a little by bit? By all different. means, by so all means. Kill you in your sleep. Sample. Yeah, and where you you actually notice that you sort of like take it off and put it in a, a a stoppered bottle, and you can actually see where you hold it up. The um, if you t give it, take it close to any um, light, you notice that it it's a lot easier to see that it seems to be writhing inside itself. And it it's definitely seems to be more alive than dead. You know, I, even the little bits. Nice. Okay. Put this in my backpack and forget about it for a little bit. So you continue to walk down here for um, the rest um, of the day, you think. And you continue to use up your um, rations. And you do feel that it's as if the, the place is really drawing the energy um, out of you. And yeah, could you all make endurance rolls? Oh, no. Um, Hazra, you're fine. Uh, oh no! Uh, a point of luck to reroll mine, actually. Okay. Me, me as well. Okay, then I go for it. Um, to be passes on his luck roll. Oh, no. Um But Cyrus doesn't. So um, unless you, <clears throat> somebody's going to do something, Rohan and Cyrus, you will increase your um, fatigue level by one. Cyrus, do you want to use one of the free group ones? And how about you, Max? There's... Run. The likelihood of passing is not high. Oh. Um... It's not a... No, it's fine for now. Um, it's kind of a waste. Because it's it's not... If, 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 I, if I could like flip it to make it work, sure, but I, I'm not going to waste a group Yeah, one. yours is... That's... Even if you flipped it, it would be close, yeah. but um, yeah, not yeah. Um, right. Um, so you um, carry on, and as you uh, become um, 
more as you did, walk did we sleep for the night at all i'm, I'm trying to remember um did we ever sit down no yeah we did yeah yeah we never you, got any points back yeah yeah um and you continue down and and as you're coming to what you think is the end of the next day um you um Hasra um, or whoever's at the front notices that you seem to be coming um, into um, a room. <gasps> um, there seems to be three exits off. Um, you notice that there's no blobs in this room, um, but there's still the carvings on the wall and um, everything like that. It still looks a very... Um, hideous place but the um it's not decimated in any way the other thing that you do notice two things that you notice you notice that there's something that you think might be shahelia um on the paintings there seems to be um a woman with almost like an angel with wings coming out of her back um, very beautiful, well proportioned everything, and there seems to be people. Uh, what appears to be acolytes and um, Bartleby and Rohan. It looks very similar to the acolyte that you saw in um, Windvine that time, and there seems to be a lot of worshiping going on. You do see that um, on uh, another war there seems to be um some kind of human sacrificing going on um towards um shahelia and it's the first time that you've seen a, a depiction of the harpy queen but it's definitely in this room there's no blood spatters or anything like that and there's nothing on the floor um has where you um feel that the direction would be still straight ahead. Um, so the the corridor going down, you think that's where the the air would have um, come up from. Um, yeah. Just uh, have, um, I'm just wanting to put you back. Is that the order that you're going to uh, progress in now or have I just messed mm. it up? No, I think that's probably the best way to go. So yeah. uh, Cyrus needs time to, to prepare spells. Yeah, good idea. if I'm at the front, that's that's fine. Um, excellent. Yeah, so so let let's say that you um have all come into the room and Hazra, you're checking around where the um the the fresh air is coming from. It's definitely um to the south. Uh, you think it's probably come right the way up to where you were at the crossroads, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah. Is it saying it getting a bit stronger or still the same? Um, you think at times it feels like a little bit more convincing, mm. but it's not turning into um, a gust or anything like that at the moment. It's probably a massive dragon breathing at the Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, just progress forward and... As, as I'm at the front, I'm going to be checking the the walls for this slime, and I'll be checking the ceiling and floor. As I'll be looking all around as I'm going through the corridor. I got yeah, yeah. Um, so the what's spear at the ready? So it's Hasra, then it's Cyrus, yeah, and then Rohan, or is Rohan behind you? Hasra. Uh, Who's going uh, second? Give yourself I hiccups. I think we'll go with the original setup of the original one. Cyrus was it? Oh, we're that, going that uh, way. Yeah. That, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, before we before we leave this corridor, I, I want to do a perception check. I want to look for a sign of any of the uh, dioramas or whatever. I want to see if there's a sign of a significant dagger. Oh yeah, uh, like the, yeah. Um, yeah, so um, you start to um, look around before you um, set mm -hmm. off, Cyrus, when people are checking things out and Hasra is looking for that um, faint draft. Um, you go around and start looking at the um, uh, 
um, painting. So, yeah, um, roll for me, please, uh, a, a willpower check. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so as you start looking at these, trying to locate um, the dagger in any of the pictures, you suddenly feel that you're almost like being pulled into the painting and you almost like can see things moving mm -hmm. and but at the almost like at, at the last moment you manage to sort of like um just as you feel that you're going to be um sucked into it you manage to correct your mindset and pull away from it mm -hmm. and yeah they the paintings do seem to have some kind of um, attractiveness or influence. You um, don't, you don't see any daggers in this place. No though. dagger and no, no like <clears throat> overarching uh, story. It, this, it seems that this room is all about um, worshipping um, Shahelia, okay. giving her things celebrating her wondrous Especially, power th this is an ego room it's not a, a <laughs> realistic room uh, yeah <laughs> okay that's fine uh let's get out of the ego room um she probably spends all her time in here just thinking about herself um okay so yeah, we are head down um um, down the southern corridor and the the first thing that you notice has is that it's a lot narrower it's not wide like the um other one and mm. you don't think you'll be able to um it's going to be hard for people to overtake and and things like that uh, as you um, go down so you if there is a combat down here then it looks like Hazra you're going to be firmly um in the um in the lead for this um could you make for me please a stealth well Certainly. I can find it I'm in the mural. Oh, nice. It would have been uh, fantastic. Um, okay, then. Um, now, can you make um, an athletics check for me? Exactly the same one. Really... <gasps> yeah, okay, then. So, as you're walking down the corridor... Uh... Against the grain, these are so... Sorry. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> um... Uh, you uh you um you're going down and all of a sudden um you hear a click and as you've walked down the corridor and you think you press something or stepped on something and you quickly sort of like remove um your foot and your leg and you bring it um backwards and as you um, bring it backwards, you suddenly notice um, two spikes shoot up um, from the floor. Mm. Um, they would have come up to almost like knee level. Uh, yeah, um, but your stealth and your athletics role um, saved you. Um, they look quite um, vicious. And they nicely popped up, but you managed to avoid. Um, I want to get down and examine this trigger. And just see, it, see if it, 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 it's a, a panel or just literally a small switch. Or... Yeah, you, uh, you really have no idea. This is not your sort of like. No, not, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that it might have. Now that I've, I've pushed it, it might have released it. So it's no, it, it's, it's it, come back in. Since it's you... it's it's still up, right? Um, you're going to um, Rohan. Do you have a a, a lock picking skill? Or does the any... answer is no? Right. Or does anybody have a lock picking skill? I'm thinking not. 
Uh, oh. set. Well, Barlaby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finally coming to clutch. Um, it's the skill I've hidden this whole time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like Iron Hand. No, um, no. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, so you you can squeeze um, past it um, if you wish. Squeeze past it. It's up to Hasra what he does. Oh, sorry. Um, Were you eating? I talking, yeah, I thought you were talking about Bartleby, sorry. So I had a, I had a no, Bartleby, yeah. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I'm going I'm to tell people behind me I'll, I'll explain what what's just happened behind and and yeah, um, I mean, could I try and push my spear down onto it? The, you would need something flat to go over the top of the um, mm. spikes to push it down. Um, you, I mean, oh sorry, the spikes are still up in that case. Sorry, right? Yeah. In which case, yes, I, I will um, go gingerly past it yeah uh, but then from then on i will be using my spear and pushing it down where my feet go yeah first before uh, i put my foot down um got got you um da, da. so this will make your stealth check um an easy uh, mm -hmm. rather than a standard one um as we go down so yeah so you carry Thank on God down for that um yeah um so can you make um an evade check for me please? no i can't yeah so you um was um uh, pressing um the floor and you you thought the trap would be in there but it's not um it's almost like up to your chest there seems to be some trigger or wire um up that so you you hear the click okay but you don't um manage to get out of the way quick enough because it's coming in from the side mm. and you feel um there seems to be um some very fine thin needles um that shoot out from either side and sort of like um, embed themselves into you but you take no damage from it I don't like it I <laughs> oh Bartleby um, <laughs> come on Bartleby now's the time Bartleby um I'll, I'll, are they, are they retract themselves or they're still in me? They, they, they're like, um, you know, like in Raiders of the Last Ark when the guy oh. falls forward and there's lots of, um, blow, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit it's, like it's, that. So it's a blow dart rather than a long. Yeah. And they're, they're, they're quite long and thin. Mm -hmm. And so you got, um, you almost like look a bit like a porcupine. Yeah. As I'm if you got I'm, quills down both quills. your arms. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to pull them out. Um, Before I go any further, yeah. So you uh, you pull them out. You do notice that there's something. Um, there seems to be some sticky liquid um, on on them. Uh, and uh, are you okay up front? Something click. I'm good. Um, <laughs> Nobody's describing what's going on back <laughs> I'm, I'm going to ask um, them to pass carefully these, these darts, a couple of these darts down to Bartleby. Yeah. They, they, they just came out of the wall at me. I've been going to school for this. Uh, <laughs> can Amazing. I look at these closely with my lantern, uh, with my poison skill? Yeah, um, go for it. Yes. If this is if this is level twenty one or twenty one percent, I'll be disappointed with you. Oh, there it goes! Oh my god, it's twenty one. Um, what do you wish to do, Bartopi? Well, I believe that this is uh, sap from the poisonous tree of uh, northern Lindo. Do you wish to look it, or do you have any luck left? 
I don't want to luck it. I just want to think, yeah, this is probably really bad tree sap poison. <laughs> yeah, you're telling us with this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying not to say this out loud, but it appears that I've been cursed in this dungeon. Everything I'm saying. Um, I Yeah, I'd like to act quickly because tree sap poison is going to kill him in like seconds. Not to make you panic, Hazard. Uh, so I, I want to... Yeah. I want to um, call upon my goddess to cure his malady that is serious, if I may. Yeah, um, by all means. And here is my power. Praise Amriel. Yeah, um, that's absolutely fine. So down goes the devotion pool. Um, yeah, um, you definitely know that these were poisoned. Um they would have caused um, a fever. You would have um, got very feverish, um, Hazra. A deadly fever. Yeah, well, um, for two whole days, and yeah. it would constantly draw your fatigue level one step um, as it continued. So probably um, a good idea that you actually had Bartaby um, with I, I'm, I'm I, so I don't really know. You... Sorry, I don't really know where our bathroom situation is, but I can't imagine being in a fever and not no, not having the privacy to go poo as well. <laughs> so I'm just <laughs> yeah. You'd always be watched by the blobs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just like, like, hey guys, just go a little further down. Oh. Further down. I did. A... Ah! Oh, yeah. okay. It's good. The blob it's good. Just brushes again. Like, yeah. <laughs> Adding to the blobs, it might be. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah this one's more of a brownie colour. Um, yeah, um, Hazra, we're, we're back to you at the front. <laughs> Just, <laughs> yeah. else go <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> no, um, I, I will again carefully. And then I've got two things. I'm going to, I'm going to watch the ceiling as well now because I bet it's going to be gilly. <laughs> okay. hey, hey, I have an idea. I have an idea. We should put shield on uh, on Bartleby. Oh, good. Um, yeah, that would work. Yeah, put shield on Bartleby <laughs> and have him walk. <coughs> yeah, but I'd have to do that every 11 minutes um... because shield only lasts for 11 minutes, which is great for combat terrible for wandering through the woods trying to avoid getting bitten by snakes that is true um and Bummer. my devotion points are better used here to purify our blood and to i don't know heal all body uh, all hit locations at once that's another mm -hmm. ability i have or maybe you know dismissing magic when we find these acolytes nice because I mean, if I just did it, my remaining times, I could. We could walk an hour, and I could just swing my arms around and go, "Ha ha, I'm Barleby." But that would only be funny for about like fifty-five minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then it would but stop being funny. Fifty-five minutes that would be. Yeah. It, it, it would. It would stop being funny when your lace come flying off the yeah. end. It's really yeah, after 55 minutes but like the first 55 minutes like a blade would hit me in the legs and we'd all be laughing and, and we'd spend like a solid 10 minutes just laughing about that because it just like buckles on my legs it, it'll be, it'll be that's something i would do yeah yeah if, if so, able two traps that would be it <laughs> uh, no i'll continue i will continue yeah so Amriel has my back i could give you a little a little good luck uh blessing from Amriel. No, 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 no. Because um, it would make it it's specifically for situations like this where you might not want to get scratched. Ooh. Ooh. That that's tempting Hasra now. It, it, <laughs> it is it's very tempting, but in, in character now. Um don't you need your your your, your goddess's power for for when we we meet the Harpy Queen? Well, yeah, that's more of like my my big calls for Amriel, but a, li a little protection might help you not die. Okay. Well, not that's good. For me. Oh, okay. Okay, my friend, whatever you decide is better. It's time for a prayer. I want to give a little protection. Um, yeah. Here's my roll. Yeah. Oh! 
Oh my kitty I think I want to use my last point of luck here. That must so hurt. Just, just reverse it, yeah. It hurts, but um, it's the economy. Yeah, so just reverse yeah, it. Point. So um, 1D, um, you'll reduce it by 1D3 um, damage, yeah. The recession of bad rolls. Okay, then. Um, onwards down the corridor, yeah? Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Obviously, you're keeping uh, an eye out now. Um, yeah. So um, let's have... Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay then. So let's now have an easy stealth roll. In fact, I've got a big giant ball I'm rolling in front. Of. <laughs> yes. Don't. Oh wait. <laughs> you know? Can you remember how wide I said the corridor was? Oh God! Look at that again. Oh. Just. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, so you're sort of like quite happily um, going down. Um, are you using luck? No, I made it. It's easy, wasn't it? Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, so, yes. Yeah, so, can you make a, an evade test? An evade? No. I yeah. was making athletics. Um, it's acrobatics that you can swap for oh, evade. Sorry. Yeah. I'll have to learn acrobatics at some point. Yeah, because that's what. Then you can do acrobatics with Cyrus. Yeah, we could do flips together. It'd be cool. Yeah, you can make a circus. You can make uh, you can make pyramids and, sure. and things like that. Yeah, can I just <laughs> can I just work out the um? Just roll it, Hazard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, 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 I try to work out the mechanics because I success I succeeded on my spell roll, but I still it goes both his legs. Uh, yeah, so um, if you fail, if you fail your stealth roll, you don't get the option to oh, avoid gosh. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you succeed with your stealth roll, you do um, get the um, option. Okay. It, it kind of doesn't make a difference. My evade's really bad. <laughs> so. Should have told me at the beginning we could just <laughs> cut straight yeah. cut straight to the damage. The, the damage, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so is it head height? Uh, the, 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 I think it's just a random location. Um, oh. that I'm going to um, hit. Oh, no! <laughs> it was getting higher. All right, guys, it wasn't me today. Um, oh, I did my best for the protection for you. Um, so let's, let's, let's roll 1D1. 1D3, yeah. I got four. No, it didn't. Why's it not appeared? Oh, there we go, two. Two, so that goes down um, to two points, which goes straight. So, what is this thing? Is it? Um... Hang on a minute. Take those. Take <laughs> take one. Um, they, you get take one point. Um, what what damn armor do you have? Uh, I've got two points. Right. So so that one narrowly misses your head, mm -hmm. and. The uh, second one goes for seven. That's my belly. Uh, my abdomen. <gasps> oh, good man. Roll a one d three. I think you're going to stop it. I don't. I don't need to. Uh, yeah. Um, so these seem to be swinging axes. Um, that's really, really, uh, really small ones. Uh, yeah. Well, they they almost like. Phew, Mm. Like that one came over head height, and uh, the other one came over in belly height. Uh, and you, you, we, if it wasn't for Amriel's protection, mm. I would have been surely, yeah, yeah, very much so. Mm. That little bit of wisp of hair that was sticking out from my armor <laughs> is now gone. Is now, is now gone. I'm just impressed that you're still at the front. Oh, well, that's selfish protector. Uh, yeah. Or born idiot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, Sorry, we're all tired back here, okay? So we're just really fatigued. We can't go to the front. Yeah. We don't like walking a lot. And um, then there was one. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. Keep, um, going, keep pushing forward. No, I was wondering having... if I can do a perception roll to see if there's like a gear system or something that we can like look out for. Yeah, so that's that's what um, 
that's what Hasra is doing um, mm. with his stealth roll. Um, okay. He's rolling his stealth to try to make sure that he hears the clicks uh, or whatever. Or he looks at the walls and sort of like looks to see whether or not there's any characteristics there that might hint for it. Like a silver wire going across. Yeah. So mm. stealth roll, please. It, remember, it's easy now. If I run really, really, really fast. Um, I do have the rules for that if you wish to do it. <laughs> Can I put a point? No, you. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah. So that that is because 97's. It's always a pain. Pale, yeah. Um, so, right. Uh, da, da, da. So, oh no, sorry, sorry, that's my fault. Um, you don't actually roll a stealth roll for this. Um, you need to roll a 1d10. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Uh, okay, make an athletics check. Yeah, this time, this time you're on the ball. And um, you notice, you you hear the click and you step back away from it. And as you step back away from it, bursts of flame come straight down from the ceiling and straight up from the floor and sort of like meet in the middle. They go <laughs> and then um, stop once more. That was a good, that was a good roll. Um, just to let you know, it would have done 2d6 worth of damage to you. Uh, Cyrus was attacking us. Yes, yeah, <laughs> Cyrus, stop it. <laughs> so if, if I had, I would have done five points to a random location, mm. which is probably not what um, you want at mm. all. Hazra, well done. And I think you've been very brave uh, through all that. And just to let you know, if you had said, um, in wills, can I augment it with my selfless protection? I, I would have let you. Oh. Uh, <laughs> just... Can we do it all again? <laughs> um, okay. So you um, can carry on um, down um, if you wish. Yes. Checking all the way still. Okay, so you've travelled what you think is um, a day, and I presume you're going to try to get some rest in this mm -hmm. um, corridor, which is going to be very difficult for you. Um, there's that um, awful um, nightmares that start, but the cramped conditions here um, are even um, worse. So... Um, people do need to make for me a en endurance check. Mm. I cast vigor on myself. Um, da, da, da. Right, so uh, Bartleby, you're fine. Um, Hasra, you're fine. Um, Cyrus and Rohan, you're not. So add one more um, level um, of your fatigue. Um, did you say you're casting vigor on yourself? I might have to, to kind of get myself like pumped up and just. Yeah. You do want to do it? No, I'll probably have to wait. Uh, it's hard to say. So if I wait too long, wait till like we get to another combat situation, I might not be able to succeed in the roll. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the roll fight get one degree yeah. harder each time as well. Yeah. Right. So, if, if, but if I do it now, it will eventually wear off. So, um, no, what it reduces it. It doesn't have a a length of time. It just removes oh. it. Yeah. Then I'll, I'll I'll roll for it then. Um, so that way I can. Is it a folk it's magic? A, it's a folk it, magic spell, isn't it? It's fo folk magic, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Give me the good shit. Give me it. Give me it. Uh, yeah. Yes. 
you don't lose a you don't you lose a use a spell point either, do you? Correct. Yeah, you don't actually use a, a spell a point. Funny, free little bit of so so. Don't forget to change that um, mm. level back to <laughs> Paul Mohan is just on his last leg. <laughs> and then yeah, uh, Cyrus sort of goes, hey, look at me now. I'm fully refreshed. <laughs> Let me give myself some steroids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Bartaby's keeping very quiet at the back. You know, I'm I'm having a good time back here. I can't really see since it's so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's going fine. Everybody's marching up in front of me, not talking to me about Amriel. <laughs> yeah, back of the same speeches you can say later. And and so you um after your um cramped night of um sleeping, you head on further down, and about halfway through the next day, you suddenly notice that the the corridor appears to be going into um, a room you can oh. see it uh, up ahead I it's a dead end. Uh, yeah um <laughs> i just <laughs> I, feel the front going back. <laughs> I just like the way they create it that they tempt you with the blowing wind so you walk through the traps. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought that was good. So, yeah, so you can see that it opens up into a, a room and it, the you can see on the floor, um, you're not sort of like can't see past us the entrance at the moment, but you can see that there seems to be some painted tiles um, on the floor um, that sort of like take over as it, transitions into the room and that i think will be a good place to um, leave it for tonight um, just as you are approaching the the room and so next time so i've just moved the whole map i'm just putting it back um so next time we will be able to see what um, actually happens um, next if that makes sense, this sound like a good place to stop. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you. But I'm ready for a uh, kick some butt next. Now that I'm all, I'm all vigored up, you you are definitely all you're back to normal. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, dang you, Cyrus! <sighs> oh, we're gonna spend all next week Just in a tile this one puzzle out. room, moving the tiles around. Uh, oh, yes. I should make that, shouldn't I? Like a, a room Final episode that you have to try to get the, uh, make, 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 the make a picture. Yeah, <laughs> make a picture of um, Amriel just by moving yeah. the, the things around. Yeah, and uh, what I could do is connect it like a conflict pool. <laughs> so you actually um, roll it to see whether or not you can do it. But there is something in the room that you're going to find very, very interesting. So we'll leave it there um, for this week. Thank you for coming along and um, supporting it. It's really good to see Old Dog Gaming again. Thank you for your sub and also your 100 bitties. Um, um, Old Dog, if you're still there, um, 100 bitties allows you to give a luck roll to one of the players. So if you're still there, then um, do say who you would like it to go to. Um, the names are underneath the pictures or it can come to me if you've gone i'll send you a message on discord and we can um see um um who you would like to give it to um yes now i haven't streamed very much today at all but tomorrow i will i'll be playing good old minecraft nine o'clock to eleven o'clock oh oh um max max you have got an additional luck Sweet. point. Yeah, the old dog gaming's giving it to you. So mm. I will make a note of it and then you so say you'll have oh and he's just donated um uh, another hundred bitties and it says pickles. Yeah, pickles uh, <laughs> muscle pickles gets it. Muscle pickles gets it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's it's like the, the Bartleby fan club. <laughs> and pickles. Uh, and then he's given um a hundred bits again. Um 
so you get one medivac. You, oh, have... you can't give you can't give one to Captain Kangaroo. Captain, yes. you can't give it to him. You can't give it to him. And and, <laughs> and then another hundred biddies uh, to Captain. You have got uh, an extra one. And now he's gonna give us another hundred to the. Yes, he has. I have got a luck oh, point no. as well. So, oh. um, <laughs> thank you very much, Old Dog Gaming. Uh, we oh, all no. really appreciate it. And yeah, do come back next week to see how your luck actually supports the players and maybe get them out of a very, very sticky um, um, situation no thank you thank you old dog we, we really do appreciate it um so yeah uh, i'll be playing minecraft tomorrow morning and we might go and visit the um, pickles tavern or any new bills that anybody has created so and then in the afternoon it'll be some elder scrolls online as usual so do come along and check that um medivac your games this week oh thank you um Monday, uh, down to work things, but hopefully at quarter past seven will be a trail of Cthulhu. Our um, scary as anything RPG. Um, and on Thursdays is Dungeons & Dragon, episode 50 of our Wilderness campaign. Nice. I uh, know, it's, it's gone so fast, episode 50. And, oh. oh, by the way, I, I'm, I'm unconscious. Oh, no, did I get back up again? We're, we're, we're going for TPK. So No. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. Do you know your your name? Did you know there's a medivac the healing? Ooh. Really? Yeah, because I, I just typed in um I forgot to put uh Hoover on the end. That's oh, tough. Did, you, did, That's did tough. I tell you about somebody stole my name on the service switch on Dark Age of Camelot? No. Yeah, yeah I went to do do my name on, on the on the server I went to and it's me taking it. Oh, no, that is annoying. I know, look, I've got the screenshots of my original name. <laughs> right, I think I've managed to type in your whole name now, the Healing Hoover. Let's have a look. Um, Elder Scrolls La Online, it said you were playing last. Oh, I was. Yeah, nice. So, yeah, so we'll be back. No, we won't be back next week with Mithras because Captain Kangaroo is going on a binge session of gambling, drink, and wild women. Um, to is it Las Vegas? Did you say? Yeah, I'm going to Vegas. Yes, yeah, so. just for the weekend. He's, he's, he's going to wake up in Vegas, missing a kidney. Uh and married. <laughs> yeah. married. Married. Yeah, but I donated the kidney to the new wife, so yes, you know. his name is Elvis. <laughs> yeah, except, for, except, for, except for you find out that you've got the ring still on your finger and you're officially married. I like to imagine she's it's, nowhere it's, to be found. It's, it's one of those performers who are like, this half is Marilyn Monroe, this half is Elvis. Yeah. <laughs> and so they just turn like this. <laughs> He's like, I really like you on this side. Um, so we will see what we're playing uh, next week. If I can convince Max to play superheroes with us, uh, we'll do that. If not, can you convince me, or can you not convince me? Yeah. Um, if not, we'll either have a miss or we'll do something else. I'm not looking forward to playing Spell Jammer. By the way, uh, I'm happy to um, play Spell Jammer, but I just think it's going to be a nightmare to get everybody free on this slot you know to to play because i think is there six of us it'll be fine yeah so so oh, you little faith no there there's there's more than six is there i mean let me check oh me. that's right because we got there's you four and then there's um tickety tex there's matt, matt. There's eight, eight members in the group <laughs> Chug yeah, so, yeah, so there's so Chuggawugga and there's somebody else that's in the group that I keep forgetting. Um, you got Tinker Tex, you got Matt D. Oh, is um, is Den the Skeleton playing? Um, no. He's not in the group. Um, no. So not Den the Skeleton. I, I think we already got everybody because we got everybody yeah. accounted for it, it looks like. Yeah. Eight members in the group. Oh, so there, there's a, a team of, uh, a, a party of seven. And they're, oh, yeah, and then me. I got it now. <laughs> so, so it'll be like our, our last Thursday, where it, it took us three hours to do 
two and a half, three combat turns. Well, I can imagine. Yeah. But just to let you know, I'm not doing fancy cams. I'm just putting the Zoom call meeting up <laughs> you know? um, with, with everybody just on it because it's going to be easier. Okay, thank you for coming along and supporting. Thank you for the bitties, Old Dog Gaming. We really do appreciate it. And it could save somebody's life next next week. Definitely or, has, Res, for sure. When uh, we next Yeah, play. it definitely has. <laughs> he, yes, thank yeah. you. He's, he's nearly died a few times. Yeah. Stupid one. I run into that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we'll see you then uh, next time play thank you for the support uh, support so in the meantime it's goodbye from me goodbye and it's goodbye from them oh bye uh, say everybody. goodbye bye everybody bye, 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 bye. see you in we'll see you next week. time I, I, I thought I'll say goodbye <laughs> to Gates <laughs>